Uh, I'm gonna need some help. Smell that breath air, ladies and gentlemen. Smell it. Smell that fresh air. And ignore the sun, which is just about to pop in. There it is. Look at that. I'm blinding my audience. We're finally here after so many delays. Well, not delays, but me putting it off. Obviously, we were supposed to go see this at midnight on Friday. That didn't happen because my dumbass didn't wake up. The Batman. We're finally here. Jack Whitehall's arch enemy, Robert Pattinson, is Batman in this movie. We also have Selina Kyle as Catwoman in this movie. Oswald Cobblepot, who is Two-Face. And the main bad guy in this is the Riddler. The Riddler is our main bad guy in this movie, and it is freezing. I should have wore a coat, but I didn't. We'll get to that later. But this is the Batman we've waited so long for this movie to come out. And now it's here. Is it going to hold up? I hope so. We also have Jeffrey Wright in this movie. He is Commissioner Gordon. Oh, God. <laughs> he, he's Commissioner Gordon in this movie. And, you know, I'm actually excited. This intro might be really short, but I'm trying to make it work. I'm also in a tiny bit of a rush. There's just been people everywhere. Every turn I make, every track I take. No, that's Moana. <laughs> I'll see you guys after this movie and we'll have a little talk. This is probably the shortest intro I've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> seatbelts on. <laughs> Boom, here we go. Batman. Oh my god. Spoiler warning, jobber warning, kind of. Uh, the DCU, right? The DC Cinematic Universe. DCCU. Whatever it is they call it. It is really hard to follow. Because they've had so many changes and so many branch timelines. I don't know who to follow. We have Ben Affleck's Batman. And now Robert Paddington's Bat Batman. We got a new Joker. Obviously we had, you know, Wahin Phoenix Joker back in 2019. And now we have a new one in the form of Marvel Star, who did Druid in the Eternals. They kind of teased the Joker in this movie after the Riddler got captured and put in Arkham Asylum. We already have one version of Harley Quinn. We don't need another. Because if they're giving us a new Joker, it's only a matter of time before they give us a new Harley Quinn. And then there's the Peacemaker series. Which has, you know, our Justice League in it. Because the season finale of Peacemaker had Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Barry the Flash. It had Wonder Woman and Superman. No Batman. That's because we don't even know what Batman we're getting. I have to say, I enjoyed this movie to its full interior. And I'm still 50-50 if I'm going to do a job of review ski. Obviously this week... WWE 2K22 comes out. So I know my content won't get as pushed as other content will. Because it's going to be full with content. And obviously I'm saving for a console. I'm doing the BCW roster reveal on Twitter. So you know a lot of stuff is taking up my time. And I don't, I don't know what my videos are this week. I wanted to do... A breakdown video for Raven's Home Season 5. 
but because of my break that I took last week that's kind of just wiped that out so now I can't do well I can still do it but it's just gonna be oh we already know what's happening movie wise I'm seeing the Godfather part three on Friday this Friday coming the 11th I saw part one and part two last week and just Friday there the day I was meant to go see Batman but didn't so I've there's no new movies this week there's a movie called The Lost City coming out with Sandra Bullock and Chatting Tatum and Brad Pitt that's a movie coming out but it's not coming out until like the 25th so it's the end of the month and then there's the Catherine Tate Nan movie which is supposed to come out on the 18th but that's not confirmed here in the UK because I asked them there tonight and they were like oh we don't know if it's coming it could it couldn't we don't know so that's going to be a bit of a letdown if it doesn't and then we just get the lost city and I made a bit of an error in the intro I said Oswald Cobblepot was Two-Face he was actually the penguin I apologize it was a simple mistake I was in a rush to get to the cinema so you know simple mistake all good but ladies and gentlemen that is uh that's gonna do it obviously my arm's gonna wreck as I'm now getting close to the end of this I've stated everything uh, video schedule going forward I have a reaction video probably tomorrow or Tuesday that's on the Jobberverse channel and there's an announcement that I really want to talk about but I can't at this moment in time mostly because we don't know where it's going but once we do you know I'll I'll be quick to let you guys know right away just because I don't want to announce something here and then it goes horribly wrong because that's happened many a times before so <laughs> I'm not taking no chances I'll just leave you guys there that I want to tell you but I can't so we're going to end the vlog here before my arm literally pops out of its socket but ladies and gentlemen I apologize that the intro was short as I say I was in a rush where's that sound again I've walked this way before and when I pass that house back there there's like a bleeping sound or something I don't know what it is but um yeah no Batman it was good I don't know about you but uh I can definitely see a sequel something about the ending of this movie screamed sequel Batman and Selina Kyle's relationship they always had that on off relationship at first I thought <laughs> Selina Kyle was a lesbian but no 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 that's very much wrong Selina Kyle to Batman is what Black Cat is to Spider-Man in the MCU it's an on-off thing a sort of will they won't they <sighs> I'm gonna end there ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching and I think we just hit the 10 minute mark maybe no I don't know I'm not sure can I drag it out I can probably drag it out no I don't know it's uh it is what it is ladies and gentlemen but I'm gonna end it there go see Batman I was a fool for not going to see it and I'm still 50-50 on if I'm gonna do the job of review ski and no I'm not doing a vlog for the Godfather part 3 there's just no point realistically there is no point doing a vlog for a third installment when I haven't done the other two so it would just be rendered pointless 
right? Yeah. It makes the most logical sense, doesn't it?